to MMA Made Easy, where we break hard techniques into easy chunks. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the fast get up. This is based off of the premise that you've either uh, fell to the ground or been thrown to the ground. So hopefully you've done a good side break fall. Uh, this is also based off of the premise that they are far enough away from you that you can get up. Okay, if they're too close, then you'll want to look at the down up position. Uh, but this is assuming that we've used our legs to get them far enough away so that we have the space necessary to get up. So the first thing we want to understand is well, which limbs we're going to be using for what. Okay? So we're going to be using all four, so I'm just going to break this down for you. So the left foot is going to be posting on the ground, and the right hand is going to be posting on the ground. Okay? So left foot, right hand. My range finders and defensive tools are going to be my left hand and my right foot. Okay, left hand, right foot. Okay. So we've landed in our side break fall, and we've used our feet to get them to a range where it's safe to get up. From here, I'm going to post on my left foot and right hand as my right foot extends. Like so. Okay, so my hips are way off the ground, and this can be used, if necessary, as a kick. You don't want to hang out here. This is uh, a lot of work on your arm. So if they came back into range, you would go back down into your down-up situation. But this is assuming that we've been able to get them out of range, and we're in the process of getting up. So from here, we post on our right hand, and on our left foot. From here, our right foot comes underneath our hips. Our left hand stays up. This allows us to stand up with our uh, hands up in a sparring stance, so we're ready to go. Okay, from the side. I'm here, I lift up, and I'm up. Okay. Um, you can go in any direction you like. So if you want to go forward, for example, you could go like this. If you wanted to go backwards, then could go like this, uh, and you can even go to the side so that you come off uh, on an angle as well. One of the ways to help you uh, develop speed and fluidity in this is to practice your one-legged squats. So what you want to do is just balance on the foot. In this case, I was getting up with my left foot. Um, so you want your right leg to be high enough that you don't need it. And then from there, just go down, keep your balance to the point where you're on the ground, but your right foot never touches the ground, and then just come back up, okay? And just do that a bunch of times until you get used to uh, using those muscles. The first time you do it, it's a little tricky. So what I like to do is practice on something a little bit higher. Uh, I learned on a log, but I'm sure a heavy bag on its side, or a chair, or anything like that would work. What that allows you to do is keep your legs straight and not touch anything, but it gets to go lower than the ground uh, because your left foot is so high. And that can help develop the muscles a lot easier. Once you develop them, uh, it's not hard to maintain, but the first couple times you do it, you'll kind of look like this. You kind of go down and go like, and then fall down, and then from here, you won't be able to get back up, and you'll need like a little bit of a push uh, to get up off the ground. So uh, just a, a little tip for getting that fluidity and movement, practice the one-legged squat. 